Hey guys, I'm gonna make a video real quick. I'm about to do a water change on that aquarium, the 30 gallon. And I found some lava rock today at a, like at a school. Like, like you know how people fill in like with mulch or rock, like around things, like trees or around a building. Well, this school used lava rock. So um, I was there and I grabbed like a few pieces to use as filtration and I'll explain why and I'll show you adding it to my thing. So if you want to know about um a little bit about beneficial bacteria about as much as I know then uh stay tuned. So I kind of figured that I didn't think I'd done a video like this in a little while so I figured I would. So um we have a few pieces of lava rock. It's very as lots of pores which is the main reason why this rock is used. As you can see there's tiny ones and also it's very light because it's like this all the way through. So I kind of assume that, this is just me assuming, that lava rock is lava that hardened with a bunch of air bubbles. And obviously lava is the molten, is mult, melted rock. So when it, you know, then I guess freezes, it then becomes, um, lava rock or obsidian or whatever situation it happens to be so um as you can see i have plants i have some um pothos and some um lucky bamboo which are both doing very well don't know why lucky bamboo is called lucky bamboo to be honest i i, I don't like why it's called lucky i don't like that it's called lucky bamboo but i don't know i'm gonna add this lava rock. So the whole reason that I'm adding lava rock is that it is, it has lots of pores. And now beneficial bacteria doesn't live in the water. It lives on the rocks. So, um, geez. Uh, that... Okay. So back to what I was saying, it lives on surfaces. So this has tons of surface area. Um, with these tubes going throughout the rock for beneficial bacteria to grow. Plus, it also has tons of places to just, like, filter through the stuff. So beneficial bacteria filters, like, your aquarium water. So if I put this in my filter, then it'll grow beneficial bacteria because it has so many pores and a lot of it, then it'll filter it out real well. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of add it in here. I washed it off, um... And I might want to add the. I want, might want to put these back where I want them, and then try to put it on top of these. So I don't know if I'll be able. To, I have like a few, just a few pieces. Um, didn't grab a ton. Okay. It's, it's, sorry. Um, that keeps happening. So then there's just one last piece. And something like that. So, um, yeah, here, I'm gonna cut the camera. There it is right there. And as you can see, all the water's like flowing through it and stuff. So, uh, yeah, it kind of, hopefully it helps filter out the stuff. Obviously I have these, which are chemical filtration. Then I have to be honest, I only know chemical filtration, which is, um, these have charcoal in them, which takes, like, tannins out, so if your water turns all yellow when you add new wood, then make sure you get charcoal in your water, or no, I don't know if it's charcoal, but basically the store-bought stuff, because I, I don't know the difference. Um, then there's these, which take out nitrates, the, these plants, and then there's, um, Then there's the lava rock, which, I, again, I don't know what kind of filtration is, but hopefully it'll help. So I hope this video helped you. If you did, like it down below. If you have any questions about this kind of stuff, put in the comments below. I actually know a lot for, like, a 14-year-old, I think. I don't know. Um, I know a lot about this kind of stuff, even though this is all dirty. And, uh, yeah, subscribe if you want more content like this, and have a great day. I will see you in the next video.